Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So yesterday I did a video demo showing how to make a basic green juice and using a juicer and someone had posted a question asking what the point was of removing the fiber from the juice that isn't it better just to have a smoothie or a blended drink and leave the fiber in and this is a great question this is actually a question that comes up a lot especially these days when there's a lot of promotion for a high fiber diet and people now know the importance of having a lot of fiber in the diet how good it is for our body for our digestive system and even for cancer prevention it's like and weight loss everything Fiber is great for moving things along in the digestive system, for countering any kind of issue of constipation, even irritable bowel syndrome it can help, as well as helping to balance out people's blood sugar, plus also making someone feel full that they might even eat less. So there's a lot of benefits from fiber that when you're hearing all that and you know that, then you're wondering why would someone then promote a green juice where you're actually taking the fiber out. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, right? So this is a valid question. And so I'd like to address it today. I love answering questions. So how I wanna kind of start is just sort of explaining the benefits of juicing and 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 how a juice is made and, and just sort of go over the basics of that. And then I'll get into answering why you'd have a, a juice over having a blended drink with the, the fiber. So first thing is is that with when you're making a juice you're pretty much putting vegetables fruits and green leafy vegetables through a juicer and what the juicer does is it breaks it down and it separates the pulp and the fiber from the water and the nutrients that make up those fruits and vegetables and leafy greens and it separates it and they come out of two separate parts of the juicer you would throw out or compost the pulp you don't really use it and you would drink the juice that contains all the, the nutrients, all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the antioxidants, amino acids, everything. Okay, all the good stuff comes out and you drink it down. So this is kind of what our body does when we're eating, right? When we put anything in our mouth, we chew it up, we break it down and it goes through our body, our digestive system that separates the fiber and the waste and absorbs all the, the water and the nutrients from the food that we're eating, and then we eliminate the fiber and the waste. Okay, so the juicer kind of does the same thing that our body does. And so this is one way of sort of making it easier on our body that if you were to put the fruits and vegetables and leafy greens through the juicer and just drink all the, the nutrient-dense water that comes out of it, that your body doesn't have to waste its own energy on breaking things down and eliminating the fiber. That once you drink a juice, it literally within minutes <laughs> gets absorbed straight into your bloodstream, goes to your cells, and you're, it's very easy for your body to absorb all the nutrition from it. And for, I would say, a lot of people that have a compromised digestive system or, they're, or they have a weak digestive system, especially with breaking down fruits and vegetables, that this makes it much easier to really get the nutrition out of these foods without having to do very much. And therefore you can be using that energy that you'd normally be using to break down all that food. You can be using it for other things such as doing things or for just regular bodily functions. So it's saving you some energy and it's allowing you to absorb a great amount of nutrition very quickly and easily. And the one big difference too, I'd have to say, between juicing and making a blended drink is the amount of produce that you're using. Anyone that's ever made a juice before realizes that it takes a huge volume of fruits and vegetables and leafy greens to actually make 500 milliliters of juice. Whereas if you were to eat all that produce that you're juicing, it would take a while. Some people wouldn't even be able to get through all that produce in one day or even two days. <laughs> so it's a way of getting getting a lot of nutrition in and sort of condensing it into a small beverage that you can just drink down as opposed to if you were to blend that same amount of produce into a blended drink it would maybe come out to being a few liters of blended fruits and vegetables and greens that might take a while to drink and get down and you might not be able to even drink it in a day so that too is a big difference. And what I have to say too is that when you're having green juices, it's pure nutrition in there. And it is the most absorbable form of nutrition. 
you know, compared to having, let's say, like a vitamin supplement, to actually have a green juice where there's so many vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and phytonutrients and all that in there, it's the quality of of nutrition in there compared to having a supplement is it's beyond <laughs> and anyone can agree with me that to be able to absorb the nutrition from food is way better than absorbing it from any kind of supplement and and there's even questions as to whether how much you actually absorb from a supplement so if someone wants to be increase, increasing the amount of nutrition and sort of building up their nutritional reserves within their body they are much better off going with having green juices than they are of taking a vitamin C supplement or a multivitamin and just relying on that. I'm not saying to take out your multivitamin if you're taking one, but I'm just saying that if you were to be adding in a green juice, a lot of those vitamins and minerals that you think you're getting from a multivitamin, you'd actually be getting a much higher quality array of vitamins and minerals from that green juice. You know, you might still need the multivitamin for certain things that you can't get in your green juice. That's up to you, but I'm just saying, if you want to be supplementing your, your, your diet and adding in a little bit more, go with the green juices. So with that said, pretty much, you know, fiber is very important and I'm not discounting it at all, but I believe that there's other ways of getting fiber into your daily diet. And the big difference between having like a blended drink compared to having a, a juice with the fiber removed is that the, the, the juice with the fiber removed is more of a supplement. It's not supposed to be a meal replacement unless you're drinking maybe 700 or 1,000 milliliters of of the juice, then that could possibly be a meal replacement. And that's a lot of juice. <laughs> but it, it's pretty much meant to supplement your diet, as opposed to if you're having a blended drink and you're having a big blended drink and you're adding in a bunch of stuff, then that can actually be a meal in itself. And so that too is a big difference, that a lot of times people have blended drinks as a meal replacement and they have juices as a means to supplement their diet and just, just sort of increase the amount of vitamins and minerals in their diet. Um, also too, fiber is important. And I know, I can honestly say that there are some people out there that do much better on a blended drink as opposed to juices and vice versa. Some people do need that extra fiber and they need it broken down, that if they eat regular fruits and vegetables, the cellulose and the fiber in the fruits and vegetables, especially the vegetables, might be difficult for them to break down. And so they're better off actually having a blended drink. And in that case, definitely have the blended drink. But there's other people that find that too much fiber in their diet or too much of that stuff, it, it starts irritating their digestive tract and they're better off having the juices. Or some people do better having both. It really depends. My suggestion is, is that to try both out and see how you do. Also too, fiber is a great way of balancing out blood sugar. And I would say if someone is wanting to put a lot of fruit into their beverage, I would then suggest having it blended as opposed to juicing it. Juicing really, I, I'm a big advocate of juicing vegetables and green leafy vegetables and a small amount of fruit just to make it taste good but I'm not so big on having pure fruit juice, okay? If you wanna have a lot of fruit, put in a blended drink so you can have that fiber to slow it down in your bloodstream. Pretty much fiber helps to sort of slow the, the digestive process. So if you're having something that has a lot of sugar in it, if you break it down slower, then the sugar is released into your bloodstream at a slower pace and therefore it's not gonna spike your blood sugar. So better off to have either the fruit intact as it is or to put in a blended drink as opposed to having a pure fruit juice. Okay, so when you're juicing, if you wanna have more vegetables and greens, go with the juicing. If you wanna be having more of a fruit-based kind of drink, then go with the smoothie, go with the blended drink and keep the fiber in there, okay? so. This is my explanation of it and, and just, you know, just sort of showing both sides of, of the picture kind of thing and, and pretty much what I suggest is experimenting with both and see what you like, see how your body reacts to the two and, and which ones you enjoy and you might actually enjoy doing both, you know, I know a lot of people out there that do have green juices every day and also have a smoothie every day and they feel great and they love it and other people, they like one over the other. So everyone's kind of different, everyone has different tastes, everyone, you know, everyone goes on their own way. 
So I'm wishing you guys a fabulous day and also a reminder as well that tomorrow we are doing a 10 day juice fast. Every month I host a 10 day juice fasting program. I am there to support a group of people that want to do a juice fast together. People do it from all over the world. It's an online program and pretty much for 10 days you receive a video every single day guiding you through the juice fast. Plus, once you sign up, you get an outline of the juice fast and everything you need to do and how much to drink and, and different suggestions on how to do the cleanse properly. And pretty much everyone has access to a private forum where everyone can connect, you can ask questions, you can post how you're doing, all of that. I go on the forum every single day answering questions and offering additional support. It is great. Anyone that's interested in doing a juice fast, whether it's for the very first time or they've done many of them, but they like to have that group support and the dynamic and energy from it, definitely join us. If you want more information or to sign up, go to my website at radiantcentral.com, click on products and you'll see 10 day juice fasting program. So I'm wishing you guys a fabulous day and I'll see you again soon.